think I am almost there. Traffic was like 45 minutes. Orange County really hasn't been my wheelhouse up until now. Josh Altman's down there quite a bit. I have a few other friends of mine that sell major property down there. And so it's sort of inspired me to check it out a little bit more, but I do feel like I am entering a different universe. There's parks everywhere. There's no trash or graffiti. It's strange down here. I feel out of my element. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you after it's over. I'll check in with you on my way back. All right, bye. Hi. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Very nice. Thank Welcome you to so my much. Home. Thank you for having me, my Thank God. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. But it's so light and bright. Yes, it is. I already know that Connie wants a record-breaking price on Ricky Lane. So the community itself hasn't exceeded five million. They want 10 and a half, is my understanding. We're pushing value in terms of like relativity here, but there's really nothing like this house. Definitely one of the nicest homes I've ever been in down here. Tim, great local agent, knows Ladera Ranch. I mean, he has like surfy vibes. But considering that the average sale price in Ladera Ranch is in the low $2 million range, this house has got to be a standout. So I'm personally excited to see it. And I'm glad they're actually pitching me to Colas because there's no one that's going to break a record in an area that's unknown to them other than me. Come on in. Let me show you around. <laughs> no ego there. What beautiful archways. Yeah, all customly painted. Wow. So different types of Venetian on the ceilings and then the sitting area. The view is spectacular. Wow. Yeah. It's quite a sight to see. It's just beautiful. Cue the wind. It doesn't look like you guys live here. Well, we do. You know, it's my husband and I at home. All my children are on their own now, so. It's immaculate. Nice. Thank you very much. So you've got a full, proper chef's kitchen here. We basically gutted the whole entire home. We love the structure of the home, but we just wanted to make it our own. So you guys bought this about three years ago? Yes, we bought it for four million, and then we put five million into it. And that shows. Is that onyx? And then this is onyx, yes. And it's all lit up underneath. It's beautiful. So let me show you upstairs. It's very grand. Yeah, thank you. This is all Even up here you put the plaster yes. as well. Uh huh. Here to my left, we have two guest suites. En suite, yes? Yes. And this is our room. Wow. Which is very comfortable, so much lighting. Beautiful. And then this is our bathroom. Oh my yes. God. I see one, yeah. two, uh -huh. three, four. Yeah. There's five shower yeah. heads. Yeah, you can have quite fun in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take you down to the lower level. I'll come down here. Oh my God. Feels like you're going into like a wine cave. Yes. We actually do have a lovely little wine cellar there. Wow. This looks really expensive. It is. You look at the stonework, you look at the marble work, but when you look at the seams and the lines of the floor and where everything is meeting, things that a lot of people don't see, but me as a real estate agent, I look at it and I'm like, that cost a lot of money. And this is my husband's favorite part of the house. This oh, is his garage. my God. Yes. yes. You guys yeah. Venetian plaster. And we have, yep. The, In the garage? About, yes, Venetian plaster, the walls. So it kind of gives it that real shine. It's very, very special. Yeah. yeah. It's extremely rare that Connie would do such an enormous renovation to an already done house in an area that more than likely can't support the number. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was concerned when yeah. Tim said that you guys wanted to be around the $10.5 million mark. That would be the biggest sale yes. in Ladera ever. I came in here with the mindset of we have to talk about price. But the truth is, after being in it, I feel comfortable defending that number for you. We're so eager to want to, you know, get started. Let's make this happen. All right. Oh, thank my God. You, that is very so much. exciting. Thank, thank, you, thank you. you. I'm looking yes. forward to working with you. Me too. I do think the number is risky, but the market's been booming. And if there was ever a time to sell a property for top dollar, it's now. Never broken a record in Ladera Ranch before. <laughs> 
coming up. Marriages, they go up, they go down, but if you feel like you're walking on eggshells, you're done. Stop it. Calm down. Oh, my God. I got to ask, who's walking who? Jesus. It's unbelievable. I can't. Do you want a dog? No, I have a couple. What's up? But Jesus. I like this. I'll take that. OK, you take that. That's nice. All right, we're taking a walk. Let's hey, buddy. Walk. Good to see you again. I love Flag, and I'm here for him. I'm like his sounding board, especially when it comes to his divorce. He trusts me. And he can be completely open, which he can't with a lot of people. So what's up with the hotel? How long have you been there now? Been there for like three months. Crazy. Bobby and I decided that we would do a three-month trial separation. I checked into the Beverly Hills Hotel. I sat in the hotel suite for a week. And I realized I am so much happier now. You know, somebody told me the other day, the minute they start eye rolling you, and you know, every time you say something, they roll your eyes at you, it's going downhill from there. It ain't coming back. Without revealing details of our marriage, let's just say I have like a total weight lifted off my shoulders. If you feel like you're walking on eggshells. Oh, you can't survive And it. you can't be yourself. No. You're and done. That was the problem. I was not being myself. And anymore. I saw that. 